Welcome to the January 4th, 2023 meeting of Conservation Commission. Um, oh, I have to read this. Uh, this is an open session public meeting and we are subject to being recorded. Your image and voice will be recorded and live in infamy on the internet. Um, all right. I have one. Do you have an agenda? Everybody? Yes. All right. It's just some extras. Okay. Um, the minutes. Louise sent them out a couple of weeks ago now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and I, of course, read them like 15 minutes before the meeting, so I sent my change. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So there was. Uh, yeah, it was just she had put in 4200 for that check for the. At Garner services, and it was like 4250. So, okay, this is just a minor, minor change. Okay, um, all right, other than Robin's one <coughs> correction, anybody else have anything about the minutes? If not, I will take a motion to accept the minutes of our December, <coughs> early December meeting. So move, second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, I'll ask you to vote. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Motion passes. All right. Treasurer stuff. Just no update, right? No forms? Okay. Um, I, we got our homework back. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? The budget. Oh. Um, but I, June and I did okay. it through <clears throat> email. Okay. Um, so that is all set. But, but I saved it to the Google Drive so that next year mm -hmm. we know how it's supposed to be. Okay. Because this is only our second year having staff. So what was the issue on it? Uh, the amount was wrong. We needed to use the amount that was in the budget that was approved at town meeting. Oh, okay. Yes, for our current year. Gotcha. And then... And then we needed to do a separate piece of paper for the additional two thousand. The additional hours. Oh, okay. Um, right. Uh, that was. I think that was basically it. Okay. But first, I did it all. Redid it all on one, and then I redid it on another, and then so yeah. <laughs> so her and I went back and forth a couple of times, but she was very patient with me, and we got it done. All right, that's good. Um, yep. So, anything, nothing in the box? All right. And you don't have any other? No, I followed up with her. Um, I think I forgot to do it after the last time about moving those KP Law charges over to the Open Space Fund for Horseshoe Pond. Okay. So, um, out of our budget? Yeah. Okay. And that right now our is budget. fine. I mean, she was fine with that? I haven't heard back from her. I just did oh, this, okay. like, I caught up on everything this afternoon. <laughs> after work, <laughs> after five, so. Oh, all right. Um, yeah, so, because um, with those in there, we'd only have, like, $200 left in the budget. Right. So. Right. Um, yeah, I mean, we're going to have an early night tonight, so if she's still here, <clears throat> when we're done, should pop over. Okay. And just face-to-face -face sometimes is better, yeah. faster. She may still be tied up, but we can see. Yeah. Except um, we're done early. I'm oh, that's right. Because she's done. done. <laughs> yeah, she's got fin come. Um, all right. Any bills and forms? No. I was just wondering, can I get reimbursed for taking classes? Yeah, absolutely. Through? All right. Yep. So Maddie has started her MACC oh, good. classes. You're going to look for a raise when you get your degree? <laughs> <laughs> you don't. <laughs> okay, then we'll pay for it. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> um, <clears throat> all right, so it's um, one class and the buffer zone guidebook for total. Um, we can't pay tax, okay. so you're going to have to eat the $1.25. Okay. <laughs> um, we can't. Nope. Oh, no. No, they didn't pay me my, you know, 64 cents on my handbook either or whatever it was. Yeah. Interesting. Yep. Yeah. Now, the town has a tax-exempt number, so if you want 
to oh. avoid paying tax, you have to go through the town to pay for it, and it's not worth. Or you eat a buck twenty-five. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Uh, so what's that? Seventy-nine sixty-four. Do you get credits or something? Um, like built up to a. You get like a little certificate at the end, right? You do. <laughs> I have one. Yep. You get what? A you get certificate. a certificate. <laughs> um, cool. Right. So there's a core group of classes, six of them, right? Mm -hmm. That you have to take, and then two or three more. I think and it's, it's three more. Right. Three Either like two elective. or three more electives out of a, a, a different group. Um, and we will pay for it if you do it. How long are the classes? Is it just like a one-time thing or is it? Yeah, so it's just like they're on Zoom um, and it's basically an hour and a half, two hours. Oh, okay. Session at night, like, yeah. Was I there think a that test? was on Thursday night. Nope. Just, nope. You sit nope, through a session, up. sign in. I just say, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah, I learned a lot. Um, and mine weren't remote. I had to go drive places. They would offer them all over the state. Oh, I um, the, sp Zoom. Yeah. The, sp <laughs> the spring MACC <coughs> conference, they'll offer a bunch of them. Oh, yeah. Um, I didn't know that. So you can take, I think you can take four, I think two in the morning and two in the afternoon. That's where the fall one was. Right. Yeah. Yep. So you can get four of your eight classes done in one day. That's nice. Um, okay, so I will take a motion to reimburse Maddie for her MACC class. So moved. Second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, I'll ask you to vote. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? All right. All right, well, let's move on to our hearing, <coughs> and then we'll be to you. <laughs> um, so, I guess I'm officially opening the public hearing regarding the Conservation Commission's adoption of um, the 53G, Regulation 53G, which is part of, it's part of the what? No, it's part of state law. Yeah. Right. Part of uh, Massachusetts state law, which allows us to adopt this regulation under, yeah, I think Maddie sent everybody this ahead of time so we could everybody, mm -hmm. we could all read what it's about. But basically, we've talked about doing this in the past Everybody's always played nice, so we never really had to. It was part of the bylaw that didn't pass, and then there was COVID, so we never really got back to it. Um, but basically what this does is this allows us to require an applicant to prepay, uh, pay into an escrow account for hiring of outside consultants mm -hmm. so that we get to hire the outside consultants and we don't have to pay for it. Um, so, and that's, that's so, it. So was this modeled on like another, is there like boilerplate? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, basically, uh, yeah, MACC has like a okay. little format of I was going to say, because it seemed be like it yeah. covered everything. Yep. So. Yeah, <laughs> and the planning board also has it and ZBA oh, okay. here in town. Okay. So it is becoming more and more of a standard thing yeah. um, for especially volunteer commissions who have to approve projects. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it doesn't make sense for us to be approving, you know, the like the one that we we're supposed to do tonight, the right. red. Right. Right, without yeah. a peer review. <clears throat> yep. Yep, exactly. So that was what prompted, mm -hmm. um, you know, reminded that we needed to get this done. So this is <coughs> a little housekeeping issue we've been meaning to do for a while. So what do we need to do? Just make a motion to approve it or? I believe so, right? Yep. Um, so anybody have any? <laughs> 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 it is a public <laughs> hearing. <laughs> <I know. laughs> No, actually, it sounds like it's very routine. Yes. <laughs> but from this language, I had no idea. <laughs> no, that's a different thing. Oh, okay. Actually, yes. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> but that prompted this. Oh, okay. 
Yeah. Um, right. Anyway, but no yeah. comment regarding yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Public has spoken. Public exactly. Has spoken. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, we had public input. <laughs> I'll make <laughs> um, all right, so I'll make a motion to approve the, uh, what are we calling it? Um, 53G. 53G. Making a motion to approve the 53G. Second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, I'll ask you to vote. All those in favor, say aye. 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 All right. We got it. Thank you, Maddie, for pulling that together for us. All right, so, oh, uh, motion to close the hearing. I will make a motion to close the hearing. I second the motion to close the hearing. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. <laughs> um, <laughs> So, you live on Lancaster Road. Well, I live on Peach Hill Road, but have a fairly large chunk of land that doesn't buy Lancaster, mm -hmm. I believe. Okay. I didn't check it. Okay, well, it, you must be within, must be otherwise. right, yeah. to okay. a, an abutter to, yeah. um, to a parcel on Lancaster Road yeah. that um, has remained undeveloped for 40 or 50 years. Yeah. And... Um, we have had a filing. So the filing is an ANRAD, which is an abbreviated notice of resource delineation, area delineation. Okay, very good. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I had to close my eyes and use my fingers. But <laughs> okay. um, so basically what that says is that the property owner acknowledges that there are wetlands on the property and before they go through the time and expense to um, <clears throat> formulate a building plan, they have the wetland, the edge, the resource area, the wetlands okay. delineated by a professional. Uh -huh. And and this, what this document says is that we all agree that yes, this is where these are where the lines are. Okay. And so then, presumably, they will then um, come up with a plan of something to do on this property. But by doing that ahead of time, the line, if the, if the, if we haven't all agreed on the line of where the wetlands are ahead of time, it can mess up their plans. Sure. Um, and it's a tight lot, so they just mm -hmm. want the everybody. Yes, we're all. This is where the lines are. Okay. So that's what the filing is about. Okay. That's why you got notified. Um, we did have a peer reviewer go out and check it and there were some things that they wanted to see on the plan before we approved it so they have postponed for two more weeks okay all right now is the review of the status of wetland regarding the delineation done by somebody independent of the town or I mean these days if you, you look at what's going on in politics and there's been so much uh, non-independent let's say involvement uh, right <laughs> and so this brings up the question even though it's just our tiny little town sure still right uh, so the way it works is the property owner hires someone to delineate the property for them and draws up and puts together the filing draws up the plans and does all the research and that is what is presented oh, to us bit. right and then we at the expense of the applicant hire our own reviewer yeah. who reviews the documents that are submitted and goes out to the site and makes sure that they agree with the lines. Well, that sounds like a very thorough process. Well, thank you. <laughs> that is well, the goal. All, that's right. all I needed to know. Yeah. <laughs> yep, exactly. And so that has been done. Okay. Um, all right. So, yeah. Sounds good to me. 
All right. Well, I don't think I have any, anything to contribute. So. Well, I appreciate you coming down here <laughs> on this drizzly night. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> At least it's not snow, right? All right. Cheers. Thank you. Happy, Happy New Year. Everyone. Happy New Year. This is the piece of course. Happy New Year. <laughs> um, all right. Oh, so we also do have a check from so, that ANRAD filing as well. So um, Pat reviewed it. He found everything to be all right. Correct. Um, that's for the ANRAD that we'll oh, be yeah, having right. next, the okay. hearing next week. Yep. Uh, yeah, he walked the site. He said they didn't have to move any of the flags. <coughs> And um, yep, we'll see. We shall see. But I was very glad. I was glad that um, he was able to get out there and that yeah. the ground wasn't frozen. That actually leads me to another regulate regulation policy, whatever that Maddie and I are working on. A mm -hmm. lot of towns do not allow ANRAD filings during certain months of the year because the ground could be frozen, uh, the vegetation is, you know, dormant. Mm -hmm. um, so we are working on putting that together and we will be asking you to vote on adopting that once we've got it all put together. Isn't there a period that they can't file any wetland stuff during the winter time? You get, uh, yes, I think it... We used to require that if it was in the winter and stuff uh, spring rain oh the rain was all right but then when it was dry we wouldn't allow a filing yeah i think it's it might be a part of bylaws that's what it's seeming like oh if it's tied into right. bylaws yeah you can set oh. those kind of parameters okay right well, so we have a bylaw so right so but we're gonna but we we can we can adopt this policy without <coughs> I still have to do more research and okay. figure that out. Because all, right. all the towns I saw were ones that had bylaws, and it was just in that. Got it. Yep. All right. <laughs> so, well, we're working on it. Yep. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Um, but, I mean, that's what happened at Cr on Crosby Road. If we had had the ability yeah. to say no in right. January, yeah. we would have. True. So, yep. Um... So the next real thing is the approval for the A&R for Highland Ridge. This is going to be the last version, you guys. And this was just for the change in the property line? Yeah, there were just a couple of little yeah. changes that SVT wanted to see. Like one oh, of them the went around yeah. a big yeah. boulder. Um, yeah. One they went around like a retention pond or something the swale yeah, yeah the swale. in the back exactly um so very minor changes from the anred that we had approved before mm -hmm. um but Sudbury valley trustees is happy and should we um approve this version of the plan planning board is going to vote on it next week <laughs> They will donate the land to Sudbury Valley trustees and we will be done. <laughs> <laughs> there was another thing I noticed in the uh, meeting minutes from last time, and I couldn't remember what the conversation was. It said we were going to review that in January and the planning board was going to review it in June. Hmm. Was there something? Hmm. No. J it also in January. Okay. We might yeah. want to look at that in the minutes then because I, yep, I, I, can go in there. I couldn't remember Fix what that. the conversation was. And in so this current yeah. I thought it was odd though. Yeah, um, I met, read the minutes weeks ago <laughs> and should have refreshed my memory for tonight. Uh, well, that's the thing. There were certain things that I had read as they came in and that it was like weeks ago. And I know it feels like forever yeah. since we've had a meeting. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. There we go. <laughs> it is. In yeah. in <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, awesome. So who does that update on the official minutes? Um, are you, have you been doing it? Or yeah. Her, yeah, that's what I thought. Do you want to keep this copy then? Is it okay? Yeah. 
There you go. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> awesome. And is this the? That's the Lancaster Road. Yeah. Right. I, I, oh, the, did you do do those? Yeah, I, oh. I I brought them with in case I wanted to have the visual. Got it. Yeah. This this is that fellow Dennis that was here. Yeah. You can see he's got this abutment. But yep. Right he lives there. Way up here. Um, okay, do you have a copy of the a and R? I don't. <laughs> right, you, but you emailed it yep. to everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Um, all right. Does anybody is, make a motion? Yeah, I didn't see anything weird on it. Like, yeah, yeah, neither. Yep. Finally. So that's all we have to do We then? just have to vote on it. I would like to make a motion for approval of the a and R for... Highland Ridge. I will the most that. current version. The most current up to date oh, version we, we have. Should, is it yeah. dated? Is we there should. a version number? Hold on a sec. Um, Sorry, don't put my phone on the table so right. I can <laughs> that <up>. But yes, <laughs> we should have a version number in. I thought Alex said he dropped off the copy. Did that go to planning? <laughs> I, I, he said he dropped off the Mylar. Yeah. And that okay. would go to planning, yeah. Okay. That's one thing. But the, just the two sketches, I thought there was, oh, maybe I'm thinking of 61 Lancaster that had the big package. Yeah, Lancaster had the big packet. So Update to person. That one's not dated. That looks like it's just a small, like, let's see. Looks like Kaya might have it. Always do. December 22nd. <laughs> There's no number. Okay. Plans dated December 22nd, 2022. Let me just make sure. So for the December twenty second, and uh, awesome. Did you second it, Robin? Yes. Okay. Any further discussion? Mm -hmm. All right. Hearing none, I'll ask you to vote. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? All right. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. It will be good to get that done. And so then, um, unless anybody, I, I will have an opportunity if anybody else has anything else, but the last thing on the agenda is Horseshoe Pond Conservation Restriction was reviewed by the state and they um, had some feedback but it was mostly grammar and punctuation it was wasn't anything substantive um, did someone respond that in the email thread someone said that right yeah yeah okay mm -hmm. yep. I think AJ, AJ. Yeah, I yeah. Yep. Yeah, okay. I concur as do I yes yeah, so I think basically we're waiting for SBT to review it and see if they approve okay thing. yeah we can address those the other comments that they wrote in the email. Yeah, so they just wanted to call our attention to uh, two provisions in particular. So one description of the property at the end of the first paragraph. Uh, does it in fact consist of three lots as described in the deed or three lots minus the four parcels deeded out by 3M Realty Trust in the 1980s? <laughs> so do we know that? Um. <laughs> What did it say? So, so the three lots that are the Horseshoe Pond acquisition. Yeah. yeah. Were there lots broken off of that at some point? Not that I'm aware of. It, I, like in, I can't yeah. visualize where that would be. No. Right. No, I. Um, I don't recall. I remember seeing that on the map. Right. So the response is they are indeed three lots. Yeah, well, the assessor's maps would tell you. 
if they were broken off, it'd be right. on the map. Right. Well, mm -hmm. we would have had maps yeah. throughout yeah, this whole thing with right. little squares out of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Okay. So, um, okay. What else you got? And then the second question is whether SVT is retaining a financial interest in the property. Uh, so in the legal review, this was replaced with the paragraph you see, but if you are retaining a financial interest, please explain that you'd like to go back to the previous version. <laughs> okay, no. So. <laughs> no. <laughs> cool. okay. And that's it? Yeah, I think that's it for the conservation restrictions. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, because I looked at the document, but I didn't really look at <laughs> the email. <laughs> Um, all right. Um, I don't think we have to vote on anything. I think it's more just informational. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah. The only other thing was somebody wrote in um, looking to collect black back or red back oh, salamanders. Right. <laughs> at 40 so this happened yesterday. I totally <laughs> forgot about this. <laughs> so there is a herpetology <clears throat> enthusiast who is working with a group in Bolton trying to find subspecies of redback salamanders hmm. um, in the area and they wanted to know if it would be okay to collect two males and two females from the 40 Caves area. I know. <laughs> Sorry to me. <laughs> are these, is that these are not the endangered? Or no, okay. no. Does like go and grab a worm? They want they want a worm. Well, they're salamanders. Right, but, but it's like <laughs> it's not like a protected salamander. It's not the Correct. rare one. Correct. It is not an endangered one. So do we have to prove that? I mean, it's like picking a flower. <laughs> right. Yeah, it it seems like it's right. Our yeah, I think I'm glad <laughs> they asked. You know. Um, as long as they don't have to dig anything, right? It's, they just turn over some rocks or logs or... Right. Yeah. It sounds right. like it's fine state-wise. As long as it doesn't cr cross state lines, it's fine. Okay. Because they're a vector for the kitchen, kitchen fungus, which mm. can pass to other salamanders and stuff. So, huh. but they're fine as long as they're not crossing state lines. All right. <laughs> <laughs> At least on the state's view. traveling. <laughs> yeah. Right. Who knew? Okay. Um, okay. Uh, do you want to respond to the email or would you like me to? Try to respond. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. Um, While I was out, I got an email from. I'm gonna get mad because the Northboro Mountain Bike League or those guys, mm -hmm. and I went to the spot where there was a tree, but someone already took care of the tree, so I hiked up there for nothing, which was a beautiful experience on and beautiful Berlin land, but there was no tree to cut, so. <laughs> Well, thank you for going out and checking it out. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Just letting you know, I followed up with them and they didn't answer, so. All I right. don't think I got to it quick enough for them. Right. So they. Took care of it. Did, yeah, which yeah. is fine. Just yeah. let me know so I don't walk up there. <laughs> Not that I don't enjoy nature. Right. Wonderful. Awesome. Yeah, but other than Anrad stuff and I mean, really, there wasn't even a lot of Highland Ridge stuff. Other than the Anrad stuff, they're, you know, holidays, everyone's got other people to bug, apparently. <laughs> what happened to Highland Ridge with the um, streets and all that? Did they end up cleaning all that up? So they have been sending us occasional photos every now and then. When there was like one right. blast that I saw was wicked four. bad. Right. Right. Of the road. The road had like an inch of silt on it. It was just yeah. like. It was terrible. It was horrible. Yeah. 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 Um, they have put wattles around the retaining pond, and it looks like they've made part of it into more of a settling bay. So um, they put some stone across it, um, which does appear, this does appear to be clearing up the larger piece that is connected to the outflow. Um, which, I mean, this is the first time in any of Pat's reports he says the water is mildly turbid, so that it's settling and, uh, so that's good. That's good that they <coughs> took those extra steps and, yeah, 
they're supposed to be sending pictures every day and maybe once a week we get the three. street sweeper broken or they don't go, go on or we don't know don't know all those grates down there go into this first pond correct or one there around uh, um do they drain directly into it or did they go into it? I I didn't see the underground plan, so I don't know. And I saw the underground like plan like many moons ago, perhaps a billion years ago. I was yeah. just curious. Yeah. If there was, you know, in the new one, we saw for Adams, if it had that type of thing in there. Right. Um, I didn't see anything anywhere, so just curious. Right. If it drains into it, there's got to be a settling basin at the bottom of the catch basin. Yep. Right. Cool. All right. Who does the uh, long-term maintenance on that then? Conservation. They do. Not okay. the conservation. Yeah. The no, they community. have to. It's up to the homeowner. The, the H O uh, H O A. Yeah. What's that? Yeah. <laughs> <Almost Homeowner>. HMO. <laughs> <laughs> it's not up to the HMO. Yeah. <laughs> um. All right. Uh, that's all I have. Um, That's the for Maddie's MACC. Okay. Is there a link for those classes mm -hmm. that I should be aware of? I can send it to you. That'd be sweet. <laughs> we'll add that to the list. Get those and I need care. to start do those, doing those too. Yeah, like I said, it was really helpful. You've taken four or five. No, yeah. I'd have to look at it. Awesome. Get all the certs you can. Mm -hmm. Yep. Awesome. Okay. Thank you. <clears throat> Anybody else have anything? Um, did I mention, I went up to Maplewood just before our last meeting, which was back in December. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, I was up there a couple months ago or three months ago, you know, talking, yeah, yeah, we'll be done, we'll be done this by fall. I mean, they're about half done. I know. I don't know, they did, I mentioned it with burying, you know, trees like that, just pushing them over. Yeah. So I see that they got in there and chipped those out of there, but um, I don't know what what the laws are. I mean, of course, the Earth Removal Board is really the one. That right, right, and I believe. Is that you? Mm -hmm. Holly. <laughs> no. Yeah, they can't bury stumps of a certain diameter. I know that. Yeah, for sure. No matter how deep. Right. Yeah. Because it causes problems when they rot. Oh yeah, I'll make a sinkhole. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Mowing the lawn, and then Dad's yeah, not mowing the lawn. <laughs> <laughs> That's not good. Um, they better be getting paid to dump that stuff. Um, I don't know if that makes any difference on how. It, it doesn't. Answer. It doesn't make any difference. I okay. do. I had the for a while. The emails were coming fairly frequently. Um, and they haven't, they got a new approval for an, a new load a couple of weeks. Ago. Yeah, not too long ago. But it definitely, because, so part of what takes so long is them sourcing fill. Right. You know, so if there is a whole bunch of it out there and it passes inspection, then it goes fast. And if there's not, then it goes slow. They're not putting anything. It's going to be like a parking lot or something. Like they're not building. And a riding ring, I yeah. believe. Uh, to my riding knowledge, marinas. I believe that's true. To the best of my knowledge. So if I'm it in weird. Interesting. Uh, yeah. But stumps, yeah. Yeah. You see stumps up there, just get a couple picks, and then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's not good. Yeah. If they're not building on it, there's no real code to. Right three feet at a time or anything compacted or anything like that. Right. That's, about all you can, that's all I can think of at this time. <laughs> uh, but the work that they did to mitigate the runoff seems to be it holding look, and... all right to me, yeah. yeah. Good. That's the part we care about the most. Awesome. Anybody else have anything else? Any 40 Caves updates? No, pulled the cameras. Okay. Seasonal. But yeah. I've had, I've, and I've had second thoughts about that. What if we get snowmobiles running through there if it snows? Right. Well, we can always put them yeah, back up. Yep. 
Uh, hopefully our hatchet friends have retired for the winter. Did we get the, did, did they catch the? No. no. The vandalism, no. <coughs> did you miss this? I didn't, I don't. After I don't we got know. the photograph. Yes. Um, that activity seemed to stop and was replaced with some hatchet work. Oh, really? Yes. So that was the rebuttal? They damaged yes. the bridge and a bunch of the blazes and some Cut trees. Cut down a bunch of little trees. You know, they're, and they're chopping away at trees. So, somebody's just mindlessly Clint swinging at trees. Clinton kids. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, you know what? Um, I, I saw in the videos where those kids went in from the Clinton side and went back out that way because of the time, you know, the the second time they came through the screen they were going up to and i caught one kid pushing a motorbike must have run out of gas he was pushing it toward clinton <laughs> he wouldn't be pushing it toward berlin if he ran out of gas he'd be pushing it home that's right. the right. way i felt about it right. i brought it up to dan but uh i don't know yeah i know the whole mindless thing about swinging an axe well, hmm. sure. Yeah. When we replaced the boards on the bridge, yeah, I went out and measured them. Anyway. Well, thank you very much for keeping up with that. Well. Anybody else? Anything else? No. I'd say I'd say you have a motion to make. I uh, make a motion to close the meeting at 7.42. <laughs> Yay! I second this motion. <laughs> Non-debatable.